Babe, uh, can I come inside? I've brought some things for you. Hey, sweetheart. How are you feeling? Better, I hope. The windows are open, and you're getting some fresh air and sunlight. So that should be helping you feel better too. You're still tired? Hmm. Let me check you up a bit. Well, on the contrary, you certainly look a bit better compared to the past few days. At least from my perspective. I can tell that a significant amount of colour has returned to your face. Your eyes have a bit more spark to them too, and that's a good sign. Hmm? This? Oh, just a few things I've concocted for you. Sorry, I'm kind of doing a balancing act with these plates right now. <laughs> this is a mug with green tea and that wildflower honey you like. And here's a toast with soft scrambled eggs, avocado and a pinch of salt. I thought you should have a breakfast that's still nutritious but a bit easier on your stomach. The, uh, the avocado is even carved into that weird ass rose that influencers like to do. Well, if you can even call it a rose. I fear me slicing skills aren't chef grade, yeah? Aww. You really mean it. Thank you, sweetie. You know how much I love doing this for you. Don't strain your voice now, though. I'm sure your throat is still quite sore. You know, it... It gets pretty desolate around the house when you're cramped up in here. Your voice isn't there to fill up the halls. And I don't see your beautiful face nearly as much as I should. Hopefully... You'll be back on your feet soon, and we can go back to our couch cuddle sessions and date nights. I promise that the first thing I'll do when you're better is to whisk you away to this cute new clothing store that opened up a couple of blocks away. But that'll all happen in its due time. I have to focus on you first. You've been drinking all your water, right? Oh, you already drank all of it. Okay, and would you like me to bring you more? Oh, you just want to take a nap? Are you sure that's alright? You haven't eaten yet. Well, at least let me check your temperature first. Let's see here. Alright, just open your mouth for a sec. Babe, I know that you're feeling better, but I need to make sure. Alright, this goes under your tongue and... Um, 100.7 degrees. That's still a bit high. Mm, I know, love. It's annoying. We've been working on the fever for quite a bit. It seems to be slowly dying down though, which is a good thing. But you still need to keep hydrated and at a stable body temperature. All these blankets, as cute as they look on you, may not be too beneficial for a fever like yours. Oh jeez, that cough too. Tell you what, just set a couple of blankets aside and I'll go bring you some more water and medicine. You still need anything else? Are you absolutely sure? All right then. Excuse me for a moment. Here we go. I brought this cloth soaked in warm water to clean your face. Take the blankets off your face for a bit, hon. Yes, I know you want to sleep, and you will, but I have to do this first. Just let me take care of you. Please, babe. Thank you. I'm just going to gently wipe your forehead. Yeah, I know that the cloth is wet. It's supposed to be. It's alright. I'm finished anyway. Now, please don't kill me for this, but... 
I need to give you some of this prescription medicine to ease your fever. If you're going to sleep, I need to make sure that your body helps to fight it off quickly. And it'll help you rest better too. I get that it tastes horrendous, but we don't want to risk anything. You don't want to. No, you're taking it and that's final. What? Well, what are you talking about? I'm overreacting. I'm overreacting. How the hell can I be overreacting? Do you expect me, your boyfriend who loves you very, very much, might I add, to just sit here idly and watch as you suffer in silence and do nothing about it? All these days, you've seen me keep cool and composed, but to be quite frank with you, I'm worried out of my mind. I'm really only trying to care for you, the way you were perfectly fine just a few days ago too. It pains me to think about. Ever since you've gotten this ill, I just don't feel the same. It sounds crazy, but sometimes I hum the songs you used to sing. Just to get some kind of feeling of you still by my side. I really want you to feel better soon enough. And I want things to get back to the way they were. I love you so, so much. And it just kills me to see you lying in bed all feeble like this. If I were ever granted the ability to bring you back to normalcy with a simple snap of my fingers. I'd take it in a heartbeat. But I'm only a guy with simple emotions. And those unfortunately tend to get in the way. <sighs> no, no, sweetie, hon. You don't need to apologise at all. This is my mess, my emotions, and I should have dealt with them in a better manner. I can see how I might have come across as overbearing too. I should be the one apologising to you right now, and I'm sorry. I shouldn't be apologising either. Baby, regardless, I was in the wrong and... <sighs> Come here. I should have just talked to you calmly about what I was feeling. But I thought I couldn't trouble you with further dilemmas when you're already sick. I suppose you're right. We need to rely on each other and communicate about things like this. But I still appreciate you being able to put up with me through all this. <laughs> I love you to pieces. You know that, right? I just want you to be safe and healthy. So you can continue making wonderful memories and just being together. I'll always be here for you, love. Now rest. <laughs>